So in this tutorial, we're going to implement the login design. For that, let me show you the design for it. So here it is. Now let's get started. So for that, I will initialize a new folder in the screens. I will name it auth and inside of it, I will initialize another new file called login.dart. It's going to be a stateful widget because as you can see, this text fields has some validation form and there is a moving background in here. So let's initialize it and name it login screen like this. We need to import the material package and let's add the route name for it. For that, let's initialize a static const name it route name. It will be equal to this and let's add the name for it. Let's keep it like this actually. And we need to initialize it in the main routes. So in here, let's initialize it. I will copy this and paste it in here. We need to change the name and import this class. Now let's go back to the log and screen. And in here, let's initialize a scaffold. And as a body, this screen is a stack because as you can see, this background has some other widgets above it. So in here, let's initialize a stack as a body and initialize the children for it. So the first child will be this wave in the background. So for that, we need to use a new package. So let's go to pub.dev and search for wave and go to this link go to installing and copy this go back to pubspec.yaml file and paste it in here fix the indentation and download the packages now let's go back to the login screen and if you go back to readme and you can copy the code for it and try what you like, but I have already write its code and I will use it. So in here, I will paste that. And in here, we need to import the wave widget. So this package and we need to import this wave config package also. Still need to import this class also. So let's restart our application and go back to it. And let's initialize the navigation button once the user press on this login icon. So for that in here and so for the method of this button in here, so let's initialize in here a navigator dot push let's say push named and use the login screen dot route name just like this. I will save it, press on it. So here it is. Let's go back to the login. And the first child after it will be the image. For that, I have already write it's called also, and I will paste it. So here it is. And I will paste it in here. And it's actually just a container that take a decoration image for it. And a network image and I used the box fit dot fill attribute so I will save it now so here it is now below it let's actually put it in a column and inside of this column let's add margin between the other widget and let's choose height of 30 and below it, let's initialize a form. Now this form for those text fields and it will help us to validate these text form fields. So let's initialize it and as a child, it's going to take a column also. So like this and we need to add a key for it. So this key and we need to initialize it at the top of the screen. 
so let's say in here final form key equal to global key and give it value of the form state just like this now let's use this key and the first child will be the text field for the email it is our text form field actually and that's why we used form so we can add a validator for it you'll see how and we need to add a key also for it for this text field and in here let's say value key and give it a string that you want I will give it email in here we need to initialize a validator for it I will do a simple validation to check the value and let's say in here if the value is empty or if the value doesn't contain at we need to do something so in here in here we need to return for example please enter a valid email address like this if not we return nothing by calling return null just like this now we can change the keyboard type below it so in here let's say keyboard type and call text input type and it shows dot email address so this add to the keyboard this add button in here and you'll see how once I run it let's add a decoration for it and let's say input decoration and give it border of the underline border and we can add const before it so in here underline borders and set field to true so we can give it a background color uh, let's add a prefix icon so I will choose the email icon so in here icons dot email and we can add a label text so email address it's it like a hint for it and we can add the field color so I will choose the background color as I said so in here let's call it just like this now we need to do something once the user save it so in here we can call on saved and check the value and and for that we need to set a new value to says value so we need to initialize a value in here for the email so let's say string email address equal to nothing but we need to initialize it and let's say in here equal to the value and this value we are going to use it once we implement it using firebase so i will save it now here it is it would be nicer if we add some padding for it i will change it to 12 i will save it now so here it is now we can copy this all of this to add the text form field for the text so in here we need to change it to the password for example and it changes this to let's say also password and we need to initialize it at the top of it and in here let's change the value key for it 
and in here let's say password and remove this and check just if it is empty um, also we can just add if the value length is less than 7 and let's initialize this value so let's go back to the top and in here let's say string and initialize it in here just like this now let's save it here it is we need to add some few other parameters for it to hide those letters so let's go back to it and in here we can use this attribute and set it to false and nothing changed so let's set it to true so here it is now it would be better if we add an icon in here so the user can switch it to see his password or he can hide it so for that let's initialize a suffix icon in here and it's going to be a gesture detector we can add on top for it and once the user press on it we need to do something so let's make this value dynamic so for that let's initialize a boolean at the top of this widget so in here let's say bool underscore obscure text and let's initialize it to true and in here let's use this value and once the user press on this icon in here we need to change the value for it just like this now we need to give a child for this gesture detector so let's say icon and check the value of the obscure text if it is true we need to show the icon dot visibility if it's not we can choose the value dot visibility of this one let's save it here it is now once i press on it nothing changed that's because we didn't call set state for this so let's call in here set state and paste it in here now i will save it try it again here it is it is working as we expected now let's add a new button to allow the user to log in for that i will just copy it from here i will copy actually all of this row so from here let's copy it and go back to the login and below of this padding so in here I paste it and we need to get rid of the sign up button so just like this and delete this and save it now uh, still an error so we need to import the flutter icon package so here it is let's add main access alignment for this row so let's say main access alignment and set it to end and we need to delete this expanded and save it now so here it is and this is what give the padding at the end if I remove it now and save it here it is I will choose 20 actually so our tutorial is finished now if you want you can add those widgets actually those widgets is the same of these widgets that we initialize it in here but I will not repeat it to save some time and if you want to use it in here just make those widget dynamic and create a new file widget in it and use it in this screen and in the login screen